Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and today I'm going to share with you some of the Instagram accounts that I follow and the accounts that you should also be following if you're an actor and then I'm going to um, in general give you categories too of different accounts that you should look for and follow if you are an actor. Recently I've noticed that I've just shared so many different open casting calls here on my channel but also on Instagram for local people to the pages that I follow or the accounts that I follow or just open calls. So of course on my channel I usually will make a video about big open casting calls where I really want to bring a lot of attention to and then on Instagram I tend to share casting calls that I just happen to see, casting calls that maybe I'm a part of and they need more people or you know in general. So if you want to follow me on Instagram you can but like really I'm I'm not terribly active. Um, recently I started using it again but I hadn't in, in like the last few years, I haven't really used it, but I have found a lot of great information and I have met casting directors through Instagram. So now I thought I would make this video since it is being useful for me to know all this information. I'm sure it's also going to be useful for you. So I'm going to start with casting in general, casting um, accounts. So a lot of casting companies have specific accounts. So if you know there's a casting company, a casting office that keeps calling you in, asking you for self tapes whatever you should definitely follow them on instagram so that they can see you so that they can see what you're up to so that you can start to build the relationship because especially now we are able to create relationships online that will help when you see each other in person or when you are auditioning for them so if i audition for a casting director for the very first time and they've never heard of me they see my audition they might remember me based off of my audition but if i constantly you know interact with them in a normal way not in like an obsessive like cast me cast me way on social media but if I you know share their stuff tag them and things that they it would be related to them and and I make myself known to them then when I when I audition for them they're going to be like oh yes I remember you I have seen your comment on um Instagram about you know whatever thing so it's a really great way to start forming a relationship um on Instagram for the future and you can go ahead and just follow them and then uh, you know as many as you can and then once you see that those pages maybe aren't so great for you because the information is only for you know the US and you're in the Philippines um, then you can unfollow them in the future but uh, Casting Society of America of course you should follow them on Instagram one that really shares a lot of information and they have lives I believe every Thursday I don't know when they're going to stop these or if they're ever going to stop these but good faith casting on Instagram does lives they share a lot of information they share a lot of like funny reels type things um or TikToks, you know, the short form videos, they share a lot of information like that, which I think is great. They're being so honest, so open to giving you so much information. So definitely follow Good Faith Casting, um, especially if you're in their market. I think they're in New Mexico, LA, and there's another one. But go follow them, if you, especially if you're in their market. Even if you're not in their market, you should because they give out a lot of really great information. Um, and then... In general just casting companies like you know like I spoke about Atomic Honey who was casting for the reboot of Father of the Bride you can follow them on Instagram cast in project isn't necessarily a casting company that has a an Instagram account but um, I'm actually helping post I'm one of the people that is now posting on their page so it's me and three casting directors LA casting directors that we all post there we want to share information um, usually specifically to Latinx but whenever we do see something that other people might benefit from we also share that if you're in a smaller market like San Francisco you should definitely follow the casting companies that are in that market so research what casting companies are near you. If there's none near you, research casting companies that are 100% online, that do castings online. For example, Aura Casting is another one. They specifically do more California-based, so if you're in California, you should follow Aura Casting. But in general, research different companies, casting companies that do remote work if you're in a different country or local to you. Just from following accounts like these, I have been able to share so many different open casting calls, casting calls in general, um, and hopefully somebody has seen it and been able to do something. Another category that you should be following are filmmakers or pages of films. Um, I, earlier this year, got cast 
got asked to audition and then cast in a short film because I was following a page of a film and there's different filmmakers that I follow on Instagram but I have a couple of friends I definitely want to give a shout out to Bless Stress, um, Javier Mendoza which I have been working with for a couple of years we're creating a bunch of things right now together he's an amazing filmmaker um Georgia Manza that also I was going to say tambien uh I was in his senior project and then we've done a couple of things here and there after he was done with his university studies but um he's also very very talented definitely suggest following them because maybe in the future they'll be looking for actors they'll share some kind of casting call and then you can audition for them uh so that thing that sort of thing right like the pages for the actual filmmakers um such as directors writers editors all of that because we all know each other in some way and then aside from that but very closely related is film festivals is there if there's a film festival that you're interested in being in being a part of um i know sometimes some film festivals will allow you to be a host for one of the nights you know intro some guest speakers or um intro the films or be a part of it somehow you're going to be able to connect with so many different kinds of filmmakers and um also once you are in a film festival you know physically or online whatever once you are a part of a film festival you'll be able to meet so many people and hopefully get some auditions off of it make some friends and in the future you'll be able to work together or you can create your own film and submit it to these film festivals and then from there create relationships to hopefully get you more work in the future but um uh javier that i was talking about earlier javi call him javi and i we just submitted a film to the san francisco latino film festival cine plus mas um on instagram if you guys want to follow them we just submitted a, a film there and also with George that I was talking about earlier. He also submitted his senior project there. Hopefully, maybe there'll be some kind of in-person something limited capacity so that we can actually go to the film festival in San Francisco. That would be a lot of fun. Um, so film festivals. Film Freeway. I'm not so familiar with Film Freeway because I just started creating things where I'm submitting to film festivals, but it's a website where you can submit a bunch of film festivals or to a bunch of film festivals. So I suggest following them on Instagram and also just checking out their website because you can search different film festivals that are happening and then that way you can think about in the future which ones you might be able to be a part of and be able to connect to filmmakers in your area because I saw there was even a Latino film festival like in Seattle in the UK there was one there was like Latino film festivals all over so I thought that was really cool to be able to know filmmakers of you know Latinx descent all over the world um all over the country so um you can go there and do research about what film festivals there are and then go follow them on instagram and then from instagram you can see who gets featured who gets shared um and see if there's other creatives near you all right so that's enough to get you started for now on pages to go follow of course you can go see the people that i follow and see if you want to follow any of them um and i will continue to share a bunch of stuff on Instagram and here on my YouTube channel about how you can get more opportunities because I definitely have gotten opportunities from Facebook groups, Instagram posts, friends of friends, people I worked with in the past recommending me. So it's always good to, you know, just be a nice person and be truthful and don't just go up to somebody and be like, I'm so talented, cast me, I need to be in your project or you have to be in my project because trust me, I'm good, but I've never made a film. Like, no, create relationships with them, show them your talents, show them your chillness, your energy, whatever, and then eventually you will get to work with somebody you will be able to create. So that's what this is all about, you know, sharing stories and creating and having fun. Um... But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed. Like this video and leave me a comment about what your channel is about. And I can say it at the end of the video like this.